hive that this is going to be a total surprise. So the airplane was, the engine got turned off, the airplane was pulled in here, came over here. They've just of course loaded, loaded with people. 4,000 guys were waiting. They opened the door, there was a red carpet, and the yelling and the scream started. It was such an emotional moment, I just can't really describe it. The tears, all my friends that I've been to flight training with, Norman, Spook, Farkas, Lissard, they all were there, tears were rolling, hugging. And finally, I was in, on the aircraft carrier, there were all my buddies, my other pilots there. They did everything they could for me. It was just unreal. The Admiral packed his bag. He left. He said, Dieter, my quarters are your quarters. I slept in his bed. At night, I would have dreams. I would yell and scream. My friends would tie me down. They even got afraid of me sometimes. So they finally figured it out, and they would take me up in the cockpit. They would, at night, they would take me up on top of the carrier deck, and they would pack me into a cockpit, put two or three pillows next to me. That's where I felt safe. That's where I felt truly, truly safe. And then I would sleep in there. In fact, later on, when I was at different bases, sometimes at nights, I would come down and I would go to an aircraft cockpit and I would just bed in there and I would sleep in there. And I brought you here to show you all these airplanes. I mean, this is a heaven for pilots. I mean, just look around. In every direction, there's just miles and miles and miles of airplanes everywhere. Here, miles and miles. God, look at the cockpits. This is just fantastic. This is just really, really, truly beautiful, and one could really feel at home here. This is just a heaven for pilot.